Christian, I can't believe the day has finally come. Although I am not the girl who has always dreamed of her wedding, I have always dreamed about the man I would marry, and I am so grateful that God chose me to be your wife. Madison, if you would have told me when we met in 2017 that we'd be getting married, I may have laughed at you. I have no problem admitting it wasn't love at first sight, like those cheesy rom-coms you like to watch. <laughs> to be honest, I wouldn't have it any other way. The journey we've been on since our first date couldn't have been scripted any better. I found you, you have no idea how much it means to us that all of you are here. Everybody's here for a reason, and we really appreciate it. As we celebrate Madison and Christian's marriage, it seems like just yesterday, I was asking Christian about a girl who was constantly popping up on his phone. After much pestering, he finally gave me as little information as possible in true Christian fashion. From everything I was told, I could tell that Madison and Christian had this rare and special connection that was unmatched. As they continued to grow, their love for each other grew as well until they finally came to their senses and made it official, which we had all been waiting for, and now here we are. Christian, I don't say this enough, but I love you. I couldn't have asked for a better brother. And I hope you know, I'd learn as much from you as I hope you learn from me. You make Christian the happiest I've ever seen him. You challenge him in so many ways, and you complement each other perfectly. For that alone, I am so thankful. He is a perfect gentleman that as a father, you hope your daughter marries. I promise to take care of you in times of weakness and to always provide comfort in times of struggle. Lastly, I promise to fall deeper in love with you every day for the rest of my life. I promise to build a home and a family full of joy, laughter, and love. I promise to be your best friend and your biggest supporter for the rest of our lives. I love you and I couldn't be more proud to be your wife. By the authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel, it is my joy to pronounce you husband and wife. Christian, you may kiss your wife. And Christian, I want to welcome you to our family. I want you to know that you are indeed God sent. I welcome Christian to our family and want to thank his parents, Gus and Denise for raising such a fine young man. So to Christian and Madison, may you be present tonight and in each moment you experience together, each day for the rest of your lives. I wish you both nothing but happiness and all the love in your marriage and future, and I cannot wait to see all the things you two accomplish together, side by side. You deserve nothing but happiness, so tonight we raise our glasses, not to the happiest day of your life, but to the first of many to come. Um, I'm not normally this emotional. Madison, thank you for trusting me almost five years ago and understanding that God had a greater plan for us. Thank you for being my person and thank you for pushing me to be a better man every single day of my life. You are my person, you'll always be my person and I'm so excited for life with you.